Hello and welcome to Team Atlanta's topic presentation for our Medimap application. My name is Jason Herman and I'm the research and design lead. Uh, I'm joined by Gabe, our PM, Ryan and Travoris on development, and Brian and Thomas on test. For our problem domain of electronic health record improvements, there's a couple items we want to note. First, electronic health records are widely adopted, uh, but of all the offerings that are currently available, there are some consistent design issues, specifically related to the way that data is collected, uh, the workflow, especially related to finding information in the record, and the visual analytics. Now we did have a chance to do some research uh, in a couple of different areas. In particular, we looked on Reddit, on the nursing subreddit, and asked uh, nurses what they felt were weak points in their electronic health record systems. And a few common things came out from the research that we did here. Uh, related to the EPIC system, uh, there were comments about there was just too much pre-charting and there wasn't enough ability to write freeform text. It was all checkboxes. Uh, similar issues were related to CPRS and Cerner and Anasazi. Now, we were also able to do some interviews at some dental offices, and I was able to research, reach out to a nurse at Kaiser, and we found that there were a few common pain points that bubbled to the top. First of all, it's really important that there aren't slow load times. Uh, second of all, in many cases, it's really difficult to find the information because there's too many tabs or there's no overview. And also, the data entry can be really cumbersome if there's too many checkboxes and it's not easy to just type out freeform text. Uh, there are also some interesting unique asks related to uh, adding more freeform text and easier uh, navigation through keyboard support. Now, the solution we're proposing has a design philosophy to take care of these issues that we found. Uh, for the user interface and experience, we want to make sure that the data is really intuitively accessible. So the way we're going to do this is with a visual heat map, uh, which we're going to be showing soon. Also, we want to make sure that we logically organize the data, uh, in particular by the health condition that it's related to, so it's easy to find. And also, we want to have a nice, simplified, intuitive data entry scheme uh, that stays away from really extensive uh, templates with a lot of checkboxes. Here's a first look at the user interface for the application. I'd like to bring your attention to this visual heat map here, which is displaying three conditions that are located on the body. And a doctor can actually click on one of these conditions uh, to drill down into a history of the different medications and issues related to that condition. Now, if the user actually clicks on one of these heat map issues, then they can add more information related to that health condition, uh, and they can see the history of the issues that have popped up to that, whether that's the medications related to it or the notes that were taken in the past. Uh, and it's also important to note that all the information that you'd find in a typical EHR is still available on these tabs on the side navigation. Uh, so you can see an exhaustive list of all the medication or the different health trends or lab results, uh, but that's not the main form of navigation. So to summarize, the nurses and primary care physicians that are the primary users of electronic health records uh, find that they're very cumbersome when it, relate, when it comes to inputting or finding data. So to solve this problem, we're going to be using a visual heat map, uh, a, his, a patient history sorted by condition, and using streamlined templates that are robust yet not too cumbersome. And this is going to give us an advantage of a quick look for uh, primary care physicians so they can get a nice overview of the patient's history without taking up too much time. And it's going to be more intuitive and less cumbersome for nurses and assistants to enter data. That's all. Thanks for your time.